Hello, it's Only Light Matters here, and today we are going to see how to use heat shields to make the general shape of a flying saucer. Only one craft will be shown in this video, so it is a good opportunity to deep dive into the building steps of such a spaceship. If you have not watched the introduction or the first tutorial yet, I strongly advise you to take a look at them. First of all, we need to make a sub-assembly with the control pod we are going to use. An adapter for better look and feel design, a conical fuel tank, and the famous cubic strut to radially attach this subpart to the rest of our craft. Let's start with the core of our saucer. I chose a flat tank provided by Rasta Plus. You can also choose another one from the Making History expansion. They both have the same homothetic ratio. We start with a 10 meter diameter, but we can see that a 14.2 meter setting is more appropriate. Then we place the remaining pods to complete a kind of circle around the core fuel tank. As there is no hook to help us to place the parts, we will have to adjust the location manually. This step needs time, patience and caution. As usual, we are going to use 6 landing legs. A 200% size is a good start to work with. Here, we have a very important step in our building process. Hitches are very heavy parts. However, we don't need to have a blade or because the only thing we are interested in from the hitched is its design. So we empty completely the ablator resource, which considerably reduces the weight of the part. Next, we choose engines to power our craft. This time, I pick the Corgelic fuel engine from Restock Plus. It has a decent GWR with a nice ISP of 355 seconds. We adjust the location of our landing legs, which can be much more closer to the engines. Now, if we take a look at the hill sheets, we notice some attach points available inside. What we are going to do now? is to use these attachments to place a telescopic docking port at the top of our flying saucer. This part will help us to get vertical control of our craft. We will use the same trick to add a big ISRU at the bottom. As there is so much room not fit between our two hitches, I consider this part clipping is still decent and acceptable. Then we place two big drills, thermal and solar panels, two small ore tanks, and we set the appropriate action groups to trigger the mining actions without zooming inside our craft to interact with its parts.
some batteries are added as well in the process and so are reaction wheels. At this time our craft is almost finished, but we need some mobility enhancers so that our carbons can get in or off the craft without using their jetpacks. We add two control pods and leaders with a telescopic feature, triggered by an action group so that they appear only if useful. We noticed that the thermal panels are not well placed, so we fix this thing. We rely on 22.5 meter SRBs to power our first stage. As we have some torque on this rocket, the launch will be straight upwards to reach the vacuum of space as soon as possible. During the ascent, big surface controls will help us to avoid any flip.
see you soon and don't forget to test this startup.